Hey guys, it's Dulzy. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, wget. Um, you'll see the importance of this and why it's important to add it into your arsenal of uh, methodologies. Um, we've looked at um, snooping around, we've looked at using find for uh, finding uh, resources or files with the SUID bit set. We've looked at get capabilities, we've looked at finding files that have got uh, permissions to write to, basically permissions that are given incorrectly. And we've also looked at, um, oh, it's my, my mind slips, it's some other thing we've looked at, we'll come back to that, but wget. Um, why is it important, right? So during your snooping stage, um, you may come across a box which has um, wget on it, which is available. We think, right, okay, that's fantastic. How can I use this, All right? Well, if you take a script such as uh, Linpees, for example, you can um, download that to your box and let it do all the hard work for you. So it will look for uh, files which can be, which are vulnerable or resources which are vulnerable, something you can exploit and, you know, use to your advantage and gain um, elevated privileges. Right, so let's get started. So let's visit uh, navkang.github.io forward slash doozy as it's showing here. It's with a capital D. Let's click on cheat sheets and let's click on wget right let's scroll down we've got, we've got wget all right so it's as simple as this wget and the address right okay perfect let's give this a crack so i'm logged into the box here all right let me make that screen a bit bigger all right let's first check is wget available all right with this type in wget and it is all right at this stage you can get out of the party poppers because this is fantastic and it says it's missing the URL. Okay, perfect, all right? Now, there's a fantastic script called Linpees. I'm not sure if you've uh, come across it, but if you have, great. If you haven't, just Google it. It is a fantastic script and it does a lot of the hard work for you. And you'll see why in a second, right? All right, so we know it's there. We wanna download this script, which is our box. This is on my own box. I want to download. I want to take it from here and I want to put it on this vulnerable box. We know wget is there, right? Great. So let me first find my IP. All right, somewhere here. There's the IP. Copy. Great. So let's see how we can do this. We know where this linpees is in this file, right? All right. And wget is here. Now, well, if we try and do this, wget, http, um, and we do the do linpees.sh, we should get an error, and I'll tell you why in a second, right? Failed, connection refused. It doesn't know what it's connecting to. You've got to tell it. So if you go back onto your own box, right, and we type in, we want to start a Python server here. Now, if you go to the top here, right, how to start a Python server. It's as simple as this. So we just, let's just copy that command back to my own box. Yeah, there you go. So the HTTP server started on port 8000, right? Perfect. Now let's go back here and let's do things. Let's do this again. So we've got wget. We put in the uh, IP address, which I have here, as you can see, put in the port number, as you can see here, forward slash the name of the script, which is limpies.sh. It's got to be the full name, as you can see here. Let's go back, press enter, and there we go. It's downloaded from my box to this box. It's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to let this do the legwork so I don't, I can sit back and I can go through what is found, All right? LS limpies. Now you'll notice, and you can actually just do LSLA. If you look at limpies, it's not executable yet, right? It's read, write, read, read. We want this to be executable. So for this, we just do chmod u plus x. So it becomes executable or we can run it as executable. And now just to, let me just clear that so we can go back to the top. Now we just run linpees, which is again, I've said before, uh, a period forward slash linpees.sh. 
and let this do the hard work. And it'll, you'll see as it's going to run through everything, a huge amount of information. Not all of this is going to be relevant here, right? And some of it will be. So if we just go from the top, and if we look at the legend, it'll tell us what to look out for, right? So if we find something that's red, yellow, there's a 95% chance of it being a privilege escalation factor. Something that's in red, we should look at. So in the back of our minds, let's anything that's red, especially what's red and yellow, is going to stand out to us, right? So if we just scroll through this, right, um, and you do get links here. So if you want to read about it, you're more than welcome to. Just going to scroll down, see what we get. Okay, there's that there again. There's nothing really there. That's fine. Mm, what else we've got? Okay, that doesn't really stand out. And here we go. So this is actually checked sudo dash l for us. So we're not now going and doing it ourselves. This is doing all the work for us. And all we have to do is scroll and look through something that we can potentially use as a way in. And it's given us something here, which is apt to get. Right, so I'm hoping you guys have enjoyed this video. This is just to demonstrate why wget is so important, right? And if it is available on the vulnerable box, how to use it to your advantage. We've also discussed uh, what linpeas is and how great linpeas is. They are the tools out there, the enumeration scripts, right? Personally, I prefer linpeas. I think it's great. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you for your time.